I bought a tape measure to measure my tape measure. Just wanted a second opinion. Welcome back to the Steve Thomas Show, and today I'm going to be talking about cats. A lot of my writer friends are cat people, and I know this because they post pictures of the cats on Facebook and talk about them like they're family members. I know a lot of people are cat lovers, but I don't have one. Seems like too much trouble. You see them jumping up on the desk, getting in the way of the monitor, laying on the keyboard. They're entertaining for sure, but cats are just weird. Cats are crazy. Even cat owners readily admit to that. Maybe that's why they love them. I know a lady who have cats tattooed all over her body. Former pets that are now deceased. She's only 24 years old and she must have a half a dozen cats tatted on her body. I wonder why so many of her cats died. I also would never get a tattoo of any kind, let alone a cat. I don't care how cool looking it is, I just don't want it permanently inked on my body. So I'll pass on cats and tats. I saw a sign in the neighborhood one day that said, Lost Cat, and it was spray painted up on the side of a door and it had a phone number. And I thought, hmm, you don't lose a cat. Okay, cats run away, you don't lose a cat. You can lose your car keys, but you don't lose a cat. Cats are probably the second most popular pet on the planet, second only to dogs, and even that is debatable. There are books and movies about cats, Cat in the Hat, and about a million others. Even Andrew Lloyd Webber got in on the action and wrote a musical about them. When I was a kid, one of my favorites was Josie and the Pussycats. Don't let the cat out of the bag? What the hell was the cat doing in the bag to begin with, you cat hater? And Edgar Allan Poe with his black cat. Why are they bad luck? How about black cat firecrackers? Now those are an accident waiting to happen. I have friends and family who are cat people, and even as a kid, I had a couple of cats. So put it this way, I don't hate cats, I just don't want them on the keyboard. Close your pretty eyes, relax your weary mind. Lay down on the bed and I'll soothe your aching muscles. Sleep sweet, sleep sweet, listen to this lullaby. And I'll love you in the morning. I'll love you till I die. Whether you realize it or not, you have a relationship with your pet, be it a cat or dog. And for me, with cats, the question is simple. Can you trust your cat? I mean, if your cat was in a position to save you from falling off a ledge from a thousand feet up, would the cat pull you up to safety? Or would the cat say, hmm, well, this may be interesting? I think what it boils down to is how the cat feels at that particular moment. Maybe, maybe not. I think it all boils down to what works for you best as a human being. If you love cats, there's nothing wrong with it. If you hate cats, you should probably seek professional help. Maybe from a cat owner. So until next time, folks, this is Steve Thomas reminding you to subscribe to the show. Comment below about cats, and don't forget to spay or neuter your cat. Well, grab the rabbit by the throat and shake it. Your cat will. Goodbye.